James, congratulations, man. Thank uh, you. Another Thanks very international much. award for you. So talk to me about uh, what this story was about around the Red Ants. Where were you and what do you think made you win this award? Well, um, I've, I've known about the Red Ants for a long time. You know, when I first moved to Johannesburg, I was uh, struck by, you know, um, how, like how, how much force they use to evict people poor people and I, I always wanted to do a story on them but it wasn't really until I became a freelancer about two years ago that I had enough time to spend to, to do a, a really good job and look at them in depth. So I, I thought it was just a, 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 the red ants were a really good way of looking at the broader issues of land and housing in, in the country. So, so what did you find when you then took a closer look? I imagine the pictures that we're seeing now are the pictures that you would have submitted? Sure, yeah, so the, the pictures that were submitted were about 35 images that I shot over the course of a, of, of a year, from January to December last year. And um, yeah, what, what I noticed were there's, there's a lot of layers of complexity around the red ants. I mean, I think a lot of people have this idea in their head that they're just a bunch of bad guys. They hate it. Yeah. They hate it because they will get in take people's furniture, yeah. throw it outside, and sure. there's no courtesy. Sure. Uh, there's no courtesy sure. at all. But who are they? They are just normal, impoverished South Africans trying to make a living as well. And not all of them are bad people. So I found that they, they were, there was that, that uh, kind of irony that they're coming from the very same communities as the people that they evict. Uh, in, in one instance, I even watched the Red Ants evict one of their own. So it's, it's, it's quite a contrast. I, I kind of get this feeling that it's um, you know, poor South Africans being used to wreak violence on Let, poor South Africans. Let's just talk about the picture that we just saw. You're seeing one of the Red Ends people uh, holding a baby. That perhaps is a picture that many South Africans would not have, um, would not have thought about or would not have thought they would see uh, that very picture right there, James. That is something unusual. Uh, you also found that the very same people who work within the Red Ants, they live in the very same communities. Exactly. What, 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 were, the, what were some of the, um, the contrasts that well, you were... Yeah, well, well so, so, so this, exactly in this picture, is, is, is one of the things that I'm talking about. I mean, we have this idea that they're just a bunch of thugs. Um, some of them are just thugs, um, I have to say. But not all of them. These are everyday South Africans. They're, they're brothers, fathers, sons, um, and, and some of them are good people as well. And um, as I say, coming from the same communities, I think sometimes I saw there was empathy. Um, often when they did arrive for an eviction, especially a big land invasion, they were met with extreme violence by the community. And they then in turn meted out ex extreme violence against the community. So these are the kind of contrast, extreme violence, with tenderness and, and empathy on one level as well. You were up against Paula Bronstein, some of the names mentioned here. She covered uh, the Rohingya crisis in Myanmar. That's uh, one hell of a story there. Sure. In your view, let's talk about this award. How prestigious is, award, is this award <laughs> and uh, what perhaps stands out about it in your view? Well, I suppose it depends who you speak to, but uh, some people will tell you um, it's as, almost as prestigious as the Pulitzer Prize or the World Press Photo. So it's, it's definitely, uh, in, in terms of international photojournalism, it's one of the highest awards. Um, so for me, it was really kind of, uh, I was taken aback, especially because as what, you, you didn't expect it. I, I definitely didn't <laughs> expect it. Um, but the fact that some of the other entrants had such strong work um, you know, it really made me feel good, made me feel that I've done a good job in showing, in showing this, this issue uh, of, of landlessness and, uh, and uh, housing and dispossession to the world in a, in a way that they found really interesting. And the feedback that I received in France was people were amazed. People couldn't believe that, that this kind of issue is happening, you know, in, in modern day South Africa. Do you think it's somehow, because uh, you're mentioning very, very interestingly uh, that uh, it you know, there's land embedded in that story. Do, do you think that perhaps could have been the reason that maybe the international community is also zoned in on this land debate that's currently taking place in the country? Definitely, and I think that's why the story is so important, actually. I mean, as you know, politics at the moment all surrounds land. Um, whether you're left-wing or right-wing or, or in the middle, it's all about land. 
And I think that uh, how the government handles these issues in future is what's going to shape the political environment. Um, you know, and next year we've got elections and, and so on. This is what, this is the next big story. And, and I think the, you know, I think that that did uh, have resonance with the, the judges and with the people overseas. Let's talk about uh, the, the prize money, uh, James. I, I think I did read something that says 8,000 euros that you would have received. What, is, what does that work out to in rent terms? Well, it's, <laughs> you, I can't believe you've done this now. I'm going to have a lot of phone calls of people phoning me, <laughs> asking me to lend money. Uh, yeah, it's, I think it works out to about 150,000, um, which is great because uh, I'm a freelancer, so I'd, I'd, I'm, I'm self-employed. And, and work is scarce sometimes, so it's going to help me support the next project that I work on.